remarkable new film called Mayor of the Sunset Strip. It's about the life of Rodney Bingenheimer, a pioneering L.A. DJ, a club owner, and a scenester who may not mean anything to you, but to countless celebrities and perhaps even millions of Angelinos, Rodney Bingenheimer is nothing less than legendary. For you, I bleed myself Coldplay, David Bowie, Courtney Love, no doubt, and countless others consider him a god. Press the radio on, it's time for Rodney on the Rock. Often, you know, the most unsung heroes of, of rock and roll are, are the most important, and he's one of them. In the beginning, he was drawn to Cher, McCartney, Lennon, Hendrix, and Jagger. I wrote a name. And they were drawn to him. You didn't have to really worry about him, you know? You didn't have to w wonder what, what he wanted or what was his ulterior motive. Now, thanks to George Hickenlooper's incredible new film, Mayor of the Sunset Strip, the world may know the name Rodney Bingenheimer, KROQ radio DJ, club owner, and fan. He's front page news in L.A. Thanks to this film, everyone will know what we do. I've grown up in L.A. and I know that he's discovered, you know, everyone from the R Ramones to uh, Coldplay. A great club guy that, you know, loves um, rock and roll and loves musicians. He was the first one ever to play the bangles on the radio when we had this little self-produced 45. Oh yeah, he may not look like a rock god, but Rodney Bingenheimer is all that and more. Would rock and roll be the same if you weren't here on this planet? I'm sure it would be. It just might have taken a little time. An honor to have Rodney Bingenheimer on E! News. Anyhow, the film is remarkable in that it really manages to touch the audience both musically and personally in his portrayal of Rodney's life. The fact is that this little weird dude is really responsible for uh, exposing so much music. It's just incredible. Thank you, Rodney. I am a disciple.